My name is Yan Kwan Chan. I am the head of the Bangkok-based office for ReliefWeb, which is a digital service of the United Nations. I think the challenges at the moment are very much tied to emerging technology, which in a way is very interesting and also very exciting because the industry is in the process of developing procedures to combat those challenges. Uh, at this summit, we've had presentations on blockchain, on drones, and so on. And it's very interesting to see what organizations are doing to try and work with other actors and other organizations to solve these issues. So I think it's a very exciting time, and uh, we'll see where things go. I think partnerships are going to be very critical, and be it from academia, be it from the private and public sectors, uh, even within the UN, and especially when it comes to, as I mentioned previously, emerging technology, in addition to blockchain and drones, also the emergence of virtual and augmented reality. And there will be some people who have the know-how in terms of the technology, there are some people who will have the know-how in terms of the data. There are some who will have the know-how in terms of research. And so I think bringing all these specialists together from different sectors will be very critical in the future. This is our third year working with the Asia Summit, so it's really been great to see how the event has grown and also the content of the event itself. And for us at Relief Web, it's always very gratifying to talk to people who are unfamiliar with our services to people who use our service every day. So it's, it's nice to get that customer feedback. It's also nice to see what other people are doing in the sector because it pushes us to think of what else we can do. I think uh, this is a very critical time for the humanitarian sector. Uh, at Relief Web, we've been around since 1996, and we have more than 700,000 reports, maps, infographics dating back to the 1970s. So our greatest asset is also our greatest challenge because we have a lot of publicly available data that would be of use to disaster responders to not only look back at historical trends, but also at predictive analytics. And I think that's going to be very critical for the future. And I'm glad to see that events such as this one are trying to find ways to address those challenges.